Ugh, this is gonna be a long part, isn't it? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. And today we're gonna be taking on the majority of the second island. Ugh, good lord. With the exception of Koala Kong, because there's gonna be no time for that part. Because I die in several parts because of how how many um how much I absolutely hate the um some of the plat because of how the controls are directed and because of the um because of how uh, and accurate Crash's jumps are when using the deep pad, it just feels it just feels un it just feels un. Canny, to be honest. Ugh, ugh, this, this is going to be a lot of deaths, especially in the, in the second city zone. Now, my opinion, I actually like the city levels. They are actually quite creative. Ugh. Oh dear, looks like I've missed my chance for a box gem. And if I go for a checkpoint, that means I have to start the whole level all over again. Oh, darn, god damn it. I can't even reach up. Let's go back. Whoa! Ah! Oh. Can I reach up? No, I can't. Oh dear. I don't know why I'm going back there because I just want to search to see if there's an exclamation mark box. Unfortunately, there isn't, and that's required to actually get the box gem as well. That's just absolutely. Ugh. That is just absolutely. Uncalled un for. Um, get out of the way, bats. No, we haven't got another. We oh no, we haven't got any um, exclamation boxes there, so no way. So it looks like our uh, looks like we're not going to go into that Brio bonus area. But then again, considering that it's mostly pointless, why does that even matter? Because you can't even save. It shouldn't even matter in the slightest. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, this, this jump is a bit awkward. Well, yes, we could have done it. Uh, the thing is, unfortunately, it's a bit of a narrow and blind jump. There's a bit of a narrow jump in that part. So you can actually get to that moving in, moving out platform. There's an exclamation mark box there, but that's not for the uh, Brio bot, for the box for the Brio uh, icon. Or well, that box is required for the uh, box gem. <sighs> so that means uh, some goodness there, isn't it? All right, that's, that's another blind jump. That's another tight jump, but honestly, though, that wasn't as bad. Okay. Oh, that's another Brio icon. If we got the third Brio icon, we would have gone into the Brio uh, bonus stage. But honestly, though, I just didn't think that I just don't think there is there's, there's any point in going into that because of the uh, because of, instead of with the with the exception of going after some extra life some extra lives, then I wouldn't think it matters. Ugh. I know Lost Lost City is just great in design because of some uh, platforming sec, but because of platforming, you can you can also destroy some crates and just to bounce on some iguanas in order to get. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, there it is. Crash's standard death icon in this game. In later games, in the second one, he turns into an angel rather than spinning out and some falling down to on his back. But that is, of course, a most notable Crash Bandicoot death animation. Crash Bandicoot spinning out of control and even falling down to his back after being hit by an enemy. That... Well, well, in the second game onwards, Crash Bandicoot's death animation is, of course, him as an angel floating up into the sky. His second angel death animation is, of course, when you touch a nitro box without an Aku Aku. And that means you, Crash Bandicoot will also play a didgeridoo, which is pretty funny. But we'll see some of the death animations in Crash Bandicoot 2, because I know there are some uh, hard levels there. But I know I would do it just for the viewers' enjoyment anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. If there's one thing I actually like about Crash Bandicoot, and the series as a whole, is the death animations. It's just absolutely hilarious. I knew that Naughty Dog got the inspiration from Accolade's Bubsy series, but just to tweak them up, just to make them a lot more funnier. 
I know this game's death animations are a lot more funny, but that's a Bubsy 3Ds. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. I have seen some of the death scenes on on on, um, on, on YouTube of Bubsy 3D. My goodness, they don't. They look absolutely terrible. This what game had done it better. Yeah, because I died, because I missed one box, that doesn't even matter, getting the box gem. Because of the ending, you know. Okay, Temple Ruins. Uh, this stage. This stage is a... This stage is one of the f couple of darkness levels. Oh dear, really didn't really... These darkness levels, on the other hand, compared with the... um. Compared with the uh, city levels that I kind of enjoyed, this one is kind of... A, a bit too, uh, you know, harder because of uh, because of your limited view, and sometimes it's easy to fall off and uh, lose too many lives. Bang! Uh, and those uh, those uh, cobras can go to hell. Oh dear! And the platforming because of the D pad is just a bit. Making tight jumps is going to be a bit of an awkward thing. And the bats are back again. This time, it, this time they fly towards the camera. But of course, on the bright side about the uh, darkness levels, they actually have a great the uh, the echoing. The echo is actually pretty good. The echo effect makes it all quite good. The music is pretty good, and uh, of course the. Echo. The echo effect is just outright great, considering it crashes in, in a temple. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. That was my fault. I should have. Uh, I should have known that fire was going to be there. Oh, come on, spin it! Come on! Oh no! Oh goodness gracious! It was a glitch. That it was a glitch that um, I encountered, or maybe a collision detection problem. Oh, for fuck's sake! Stupid bats just blindsided me. Let's get this. Okay, so we got through. Okay, so let's go for these spears. Let's not uh, get hit by those spears. <sighs> because of the, also because of the uh, line boxes being so uh, the, the, n nearly out of view, it's impossible to. It may be unpredictable that we might lose a few. That you might miss a few boxes if you actually go through the whole stage without actually dying. <sighs> Goodness gracious, I should have waited. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, let's get through this. Right. Oh, no! For goodness sake! That was... That was uncalled for. Okay, so. Oh, God, this grace. Don't nullify my chance for another box gem. I didn't really like the box. The box system in this game just felt, uh, you know, too tedious and too un. and too deep. Oh, dear. Getting the box gems was just. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. I just enjoyed getting them in this game the least. Oh, for goodness sake, I was... Uh, oh, for goodness sake, that was my... Damn it! Why, uh, why did I not realise that? Ugh. Well, for, what happened first was that I, I actually fell off because I tried to jump into that platform and I just couldn't reach it and I jumped off. And then I was going the wrong way and then I jumped off uh, by uh, by mistake. That's my mistake. Damn it. <sighs> we need to do this, uh we need to complete this already. There we go. Now this proves that the deep using the deep at the uh 
jumping onto platforms just feels completely awkward. Okay, let the bats through. And we finished off the stage. Thank goodness. But I know the later one is really uh, with a hard, another hard stage. That later le darkness level is just absolutely bad. What's this now? You want to know it? Oh, goodness gracious, these bridge levels. These are another one of my... These are another one of those uh, levels where I absolutely... Which I absolutely hate. I absolutely hate this stage. Or particularly two of sta uh, the stages because... It's because you've got a bridge. You're on a bridge and there are... And there are types of planks. There are the... Uh, the the lightly coloured planks which you can walk safely on, the darker planks which can break off whenever you are on them, and of course the red planks which are half broken, which allow, which will, oh goodness gracious, landing on the um, broken, pla already broken planks means that you could, uh, that means you will fall down to your death, guaranteed, and that's not a good sign, why I hate the, these levels are just, uh, these, I was, I kept getting stuck on these levels until I managed to eventually pass them. Goodness gracious, if there's one thing I hate about these stages is of course getting the box gem, it's near suicide. Trust me, I absolutely dislike the stages and because of the, oh, because it's the warthog that we rode on earlier on, we, we are going to get, we are guaranteed to die like regular if we hit it. Oh dear. Boing. 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 Come on, let's go through. Okay, oh yeah, here we go. Oh dear, that was a bit of a, oh, that was a bit of a sidetrack. God knows what will happen if I actually go through the level now. Back to now, back to the road of shit, or the road to nowhere. I don't know what it is, but I absolute. But out of out of all the stages, this and slippery climb, I cannot stand. These bridge levels and I could slippery climb, I cannot stand. These levels are just like the burden of my life. And we need that colour gem in order to actually get those boxes. Missed eleven boxes. Because we need the cut because we need that colour gem. That's what I don't like about the gem system in this game, is because of the uh, because of you having to not only go through the whole stage without a single death, you've also need to get gem colour gems in certain stages. Ah, wait, welcome, welcome, well, welcome, well, at least we're off to another, we're off to a level that I'm much, that I will be better at, Boulder Dash. How did I survive through that bridge level without taking a single death? Well, whatever it is, I actually struggled to, the, with those bridge levels and getting the box gems, of course. But Boulder Dash here, unfortunately, it's like Boulder Dash, like Road to Nowhere, you have to use a coloured gem in order to actually get the the box is required to get the gem. So unfortunately, another box gem opportunity foiled. Oh dear. Uh-oh. The bolt is closing up on me. No, uh-oh, uh-oh. Damn it. Come on, crash. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Ah. Oh. I accidentally spun into the TNT box, and yes, what happens if you spin into the TNT box, it will automatically detonate. And if Crush Bandicoot doesn't have Aku Aku, he will blow up. He will blow up, and, uh, and only leaving his shoes, his nose, and his eyeballs. Ugh. Come on, Crush. Let's uh, outrun this boulder. I can hear the uh, 
Agreed the warp, warp. Agreed the warp portal. Yes, there we go. We've escaped the boulder again. And where does this lead us to now? Sunset Vista. Oh goodness, we are great. Like the Lost City, only ten times, only a thousand times harder. And of course, it's more. And it's and because of how. And because of how it's. Um, because of how large it is and how easy it is to fall off, it's just the box gem is pretty much the hardest, one of the hardest in the game. Right. Here's some more did you do goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my, what the hell? I actually hit that uh, batter that pretty much uh, gave me enough momentum to actually land me into the water. Something tells me this is going to be a long, uh, long level. For better or for worse. Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> Something tells me I'm going to be losing a lot of lives. Not only through either fault or fault, but of either my own faults or my or no faults my own. There we go. For goodness gracious, this has happened again. Oh, for goodness sake! Ugh! Ugh! But you know, it's gonna get the difficulty's only gonna spike up once we get to Island 3. <sighs> oh, look at all. I had no idea what those uh, glitz, those um, icons really represent. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm already playing an. Gracious, I'm actually play I'm actually going through it already. I'm having a good start, aren't I? Not. Oh, for goodness, oh, for God's sake! Let's try and get through this properly. I know what I did wrong, so let's wait for the bats to go through. Right, there we go. Checkpoint. Now these some of these platforming segments in there are just absolutely outright ridiculous. You have to wait until the icons keep keep on moving and uh, you have to uh, do, uh, do, wait until you uh, wait until a convenient um, jumping spot. These uh, these platforms are just absolutely ridiculous. They keep moving about all over the place quite fast, and sometimes it's easy to fall off. Oh, how did I not lose Aku Aku this time around? Aku Aku is pretty much a helpful person, a very helpful little mask. All right, let's go through. Oh dear! Come on. No, this segment is a bit. Um, this segment is a little bit more trickier. Although it's a bit slower, it's because there are some platforms that can retract as well, and because of fiery. Um, and because of fiery um, pops as well, which can unleash fire as well. Right, we're up now. There we go. No. Right, there we go. Checkpoint. Right, let's wait for those um, platforms to go back up and those um, walls to retract. Let's go through. What have we got? Right. 
Now this one's more trickier because you've not only got enemies, you've also got fast moving platforms. Come on, thank you. Okay, so, oh, for fuck's sake. I just, I, I tried to jump on that platform but I missed and I had to go, I have to start all over again now. Let's wait. There we go. Checkpoint. Right. I think this is the first. This is the uh, one of the now. Now here's a now here's a thing. Now here's a fact. This is the first of two stages to feature the cortex levels. To feature the cortex icons. The point of the cortex bonus rooms is be, is to get some. Um, the point of the cortex, um, the point of cortex's room is just to get a key. Getting keys actually unlock stages, uh, actually unlock bonus stages. Bonus stages consist of a key, consist of a dark, consist of a hot another hog area, which you can ride the warthog in. And of course, the, the the last one is of course another one that is basically in the. In a room with no light. Oh, for fuck's sake. Basically, there are two hidden, uh, two secret, um, two secret areas that you can actually unlock with keys. The only way you can get the keys is to access the cortex stages by getting three cortex icons and go through what's considered to be the hardest boss rounds ever. But unlike the reused bonus stages, you can actually save your progress as well. So. We're pretty much like Tana's bonus rooms. But it's really easy to to fall off in um in the in the in the cortex bonus rooms. Right, we need to wait until those um wait until it's safe. There we go. There we go. So, we'll have to wait. Pati looks like patience might be a virtual again. Okay, come on. Oh, there we go. What to do is to be patient and not get too reckless. That's another extra life. There we go. Now off to the Cortex bonus round. And it's inside his part of his castle. Here we go. There we go. Ah, oh. oh, we got through it. We're okay. He's throwing a key to us. Yes! Cortex, you fool! <laughs> yeah, well, let's update our game key save and let's get back to our next uh, area which is the sunset vista again okay right we're back now and let's let's see if we can make that jump yes we can so people have managed to make that jump because I actually like this game because I actually played this game so many times I actually made that jump quite a bit, few, fair few times so we can actually bypass those uh, platforms booty platforms Anyway, back to another torn up bonus round. There we go. There we go. We've got another save point, so that being saved, let let's save our progress again and let's get to the next area. Okay. Right. Let's finish this level off. It's already dragged on far too long enough. Now this part is pretty much not as troublesome as the previous two parts. Okay. Even though the platform, this platforming, this platforming part can be a bit troublesome. 
Oh, now this one's the this one's the problem now. I was wrong. There's, a but I got through it. It's okay. New end it. And I can see Cortex's castle. Oh, I can see the blip up there as well. The blip where we can fight Doc Cortex later on. Oh, by the way, spoilers. Anyway, with that being said, we have finished Sunset Vista and of course this part, which is considered to be the longest part of the LP. So, we're going to stop right there. And with that being said, I'm Mitch McKidd and I'll see you guys next time for when we are going to be taking on Koala Kong and then we're going to begin the third island. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.